Now we have seen, we, we first concentrate here and, and, and don't look at these three figures, right? So what, what had happened, we had seen that, we had, we had seen that there was, there, was a, uh, there was a cell like this and if left to itself, it will lead to an electron flow in this direction which will be equivalent to, which will be equivalent to a current flow in this direction, right? Fine. Now what we do is this, we try to test it. So what is happening from here to here, there, there is a current flow from here to here, right? Fine. From here to here. So, so what I do, I try to flow a current in the opposite direction. Okay, so if this is negative, if, if, if this is this is a cell, this is a cell, okay, okay, and I try to apply a, an EMF like this, okay, we try to apply an EMF like this, then let us try to see what happens and, and we should be putting a galvanometer in, in, in this, why? Okay, we should put a galvanometer in this wire. Then what should happen? Then what should happen? This is what? This is a potentiometer. Fine. This is a potentiometer. What will it do? What will it do? If I tap it here, okay, then what happens, then what happens, this whole, this whole battery is connected like that, right, so, so, so let, let me show it to you electrically what happens, suppose I am tapping it here, okay, then what happens, what happens is, this, 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 I tap it here and, and it is connected to this wire which has a galvanometer, it is connected like this. So what has happened? Electrically what has happened is this negative gets connected to this. Okay, this negative gets connected to this, this negative and this positive is connected to this. Okay, so in a sense, in a sense, this has become defunct. Okay, this has become defunct. Okay. This has become defunct. Understand? If you write a KVL, how will you be writing it? You will start from here, you will come <coughs> here, this is E, it will be taken as plus E, it comes here and, and, and what happens? It comes here and, and it will push a current in this direction. Correct? Do you understand it? There is obviously, there, there is obviously a current flow in this loop due to this. Okay. Now, so, so this is equivalent to this wire getting connected, connected like this, like this. Okay. Okay. So this has a tendency to push a current in this direction. Do we see that? Hmm? Do we see that? 
दिस हैज अ टेंडेंसी टू पुश अ करेंट इन दिस वायर इन दिस डिरेक्शन दिस एंड देर इज ऑलरेडी अ करेंट इन दिस डिरेक्शन इन दिस वायर ओके डो वी गेट दैट पॉइंट डू वी गेट दैट पॉइंट फाइन नाउ नाउ सो 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 दिस इज ई ओके दिस इज ई इन इन गैलोरी दिस इज द वायर दिस इज दिस वायर this wire is this wire this wire is this wire okay here it is this wire here it is this wire this this the wire that is connected across the electrode is actually this wire this 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 is the wire with the galvanometer understand understand and what is the direction of the current we have the direction of the current is this okay the direction of the current is that now if this is my e and it is less than 1.1 volt okay this is less than 1.1 volt then what happens then what happens how do we take the current as so so here we have a we have a we have a current flowing in this direction right if 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 this is this is this is 1.1 volt and this is the polarity how will this force a current through this wire this is pushing a current like this and this is making a current flow like this due to this you have a circulating current like this there is a circulating current like this okay in in this in this wire there is a circulating current like this okay and what will happen due to this circulating current hmm? it has to do with some electricity actually hold on let me let me take you into some some electricity if i have a loop like this and you have tappings from here or say here and i have a wire like this let us first concentrate here okay let us first concentrate here this is called a local loop why do we call it a local loop why do we 